Well, Sean, the disconnections are only supposed to happen to past due accounts that are not under dispute. But some people we talk to say that getting through the process to dispute a bill is practically impossible. The Sewage and Water Board says tomorrow up to 17,000 customer accounts could be at risk. I'm going to start cutting the water off, so I didn't even pay my past due bill. Lines of cars outside and lines of customers inside. Right, man, have to All waiting to get in front of a Sewage and Water Board agent at their office on St. Joseph. What was your fear if you didn't get it done? Getting shut off and I have kids. And I have kids. The board said Tuesday is the last day that accounts with a balance higher than $50 for more than 60 days will be safe from shutoffs. They plan to begin cutting the water on 17,000 accounts on Wednesday. We're obviously not going to shut off 17,000 accounts at once. Um, and we'll have people on standby once your water is shut off. Um, as soon as you call and make a payment plan or pay your bill, we have people in place to turn your water back on the same day. That's concerning. I mean, the council member at large, Helena Moreno, said that's not fair. The problem that we're seeing and the calls that we've gotten into our office is they're having a trouble just getting through to Sewage and Water Board. So Moreno tried calling the customer service line herself. So then we called again. This way. Moreno recorded her attempts. And it's busy. Following our interview, we tried to call again. It's a busy signal again. Other customers complain that they've disputed their bills in person, but are still receiving shutoff notices. And that's another reason Moreno says the public utility needs to pump the brakes. Right now, the billing process, as you can see, and trying to just dispute your bill, it's just kind of impossible to do.